Today we're taking a quick look at the brand new Sigma 15mm f1.4. Now in case you missed it, Sigma just released two new lenses. One is the 500mm f5.6 and I do have a review of that lens on my channel and so if you're curious about that lens, check out the link in the description below. But another lens they released is the brand new 15mm f1.4 fisheye and I'm going to be honest, I love this lens but let's talk about why. But before we do that, I do want to mention that Sigma did send me this lens to test out but as always, I'm not getting paid and I say whatever I want and so we're going to dive right in talking about what I think about this lens, starting first with the overall image performance. Now, this is a fisheye lens, and so you are going to get some fisheye distortion for better or for worse. If you're a fisheye fan, I know a lot of times I'm not, but I'll be honest, every time I use fisheye lenses, I end up being a fan after I get done using them. Now, over the last year or so, I've really kind of fallen in love with wide angle portraiture. It's a way to create portraits that is just a little bit interesting and different than what most people are doing. And so we did some wide angle fisheye portraits with this lens and I really love what came out of them. Now some standout features for this lens is you do have really good chromatic aberration control and the flaring is also really well controlled. Being that this is the type of fisheye lens that it is, you are getting a 180 degree view and so you're capturing a ton of the scenery around you and so you can get really creative with architecture, maybe even uh, astrophotography or like I said, more portrait photography. Again, for what it is, I really do love the image that this lens does produce so with that let's go talk about the build of the lens now right off the bat i'll mention this lens is a hefty lens it is worth every penny you're going to pay for it in what it is image wise but also what it is build wise you're getting a ton of buttons and switches on this lens you're also getting a tripod mount that is removable but that does come included with the lens as well now much like other fisheye lenses you are getting a fixed hood and because it does have more of a bulbous front element element, you're not going to be able to use screw on filters, but it does have a slot for rear filtration. And one step beyond that, just like the 14 millimeter and what we saw with the 14 millimeter, the lens cap does have a place for those rear filters to be held when they're not in use. So again, really cool innovation that we're seeing even with just the lens cap that Sigma is producing. Now, something else to note is you are getting a physical aperture ring. A couple of these switches deal with that aperture ring. You will have a clicked or declicked aperture switch. You also have a locking switch for the aperture. Beyond that, for astrophotographers, you will have an autofocus lock switch and you'll have a focus hold button as well. And then of course, an autofocus and manual focus switch. Now, along with Sigma's art series lineup in their overall construction, the lens is going Going to be dust and splash resistant and so while this lens is already really good quality know that it's going to be a little bit more weather resistant from the elements overall i've been really happy with the construction of this lens and so let's talk about who this lens is for now this lens is definitely a niche lens coming in around two thousand dollars this is definitely a niche lens you are going to get this lens if you know you need this lens or are looking for this lens specifically. If you're looking for a high quality fisheye lens, then I would absolutely say and recommend you should check out the new Sigma 15 millimeter F1.4 fisheye. And so that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do have any more questions about this lens, I know I only had it for a few days. And so if there was something I didn't cover or if you have additional questions, let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you all for joining. Go and find your journey. Go embrace life. Peace. Oh, can't stand it. I know you planned it. <laughs> <laughs> Sabotage. <laughs>